channel Fun with Data Science. So our today's topic is to discuss the use of AI in our daily life. So I think that you all must be familiar with the basic use of AI in daily life. So let's get started for that. So our first example is the email filters in Gmail. So uh, let me write the heading use of AI. Our first example is email filters in Gmail. So uh, what does this mean that uh, basically you all must have the Gmail accounts. When you open a Gmail account in that at the top, you see three kinds of mails. Uh, first is primary, then social and promotions. So basically this division is done and these mails which you get receive are categorized by artificial intelligence and they are dropped to this respective column which you consider like any university or the basic emails are always filtered in the primary section then after that social your uh, youtube comments or your uh, uh, social networking sites comments that all are in the social and in the promotion the basically the companies which promote themselves are these mails are in the promotion section so this is done with the help of ai now second use ai which you use in your daily life is uh, LinkedIn, is on LinkedIn. That, uh, let me first write it, then I'm telling you how. Now, uh, when you uh, when you make a profile in that, you apply for the jobs. So, you write that, I want this job and I am considering and applying for this job or searching for this job. So, basically, AI does what that, it searches the related jobs which whatever job role you have entered and it basically suggests and shows you the respective jobs for the job role you have entered. So on in the social networking site in LinkedIn it helps like this. Now let's take our third example for the use of AI that is Pinterest. You all must have uh, heard this P-E-R-E. Let me write the correct spelling, Pinterest. Okay, so you all must have uh, uh, heard about Pinterest. So, uh, we, uh, suppose you you have gone to your friend's home and there you saw a beautiful dining table or any beautiful watch or cloth. You also want to buy the same. So, you can just uh, open Pinterest and just... Uh, just with the help of your lens, you can scan that and it will show you the similar products of whatever your likings. So uh, basically AI is held in Pinterest that it helps you to so show the suggestions that uh, you have entered this and these are the suggestions for your requirement. Now our fourth, is, fourth uh, use of AI is Google Predictive searches so you all have searched you all on a daily basis search something on the google something on the google so when you search that thing uh, that thing just stores there and on the second day when you again search that thing you write the first and second letter of that thing and the whole thing appears so how does this work this these all things work upon ai there is an uh, besides this, there is an AI algorithm with, which helps them, which helps, helps these things to, to perform their applications and give you the Google predictive searches. So this reduces your time and this reduces your, your effort too. Now a fifth example, that is the last one, is product recommendations. recommendations so uh, when you search something on Amazon Flipkart uh, many uh, sites so in that when you search something on the first day on the second day when you open that or after some time only when you open 
that, then you see the related searches and the things you search. And same with when you search something on a on a cart on Amazon or Flipkart. And after that, we use your YouTube. The ads which are related uh, with the which you see in your YouTube are just related to your searches which you searched on on uh, Amazon or Flipkart. Same with the Facebook. When you search something on any Amazon or Flipkart, and then you go to your Facebook, then in that section there your searches appear and all that products come on with their names and whatever you have searches done so basically this is the use of ai in product recommendation it recommends you about the different products so let's take a revision and a summary that use of ai ai first is basically used in email filters in gmail Second LinkedIn, third Pinterest, fourth Google predictive searches and fifth one is product recommendations. Now, uh, when you chat with someone on uh, WhatsApp or Facebook, then there when you write something, so basically it shows the proper words and the proper spelling words on the top. So here AI works but AI what cannot work is that it cannot think like humans. It can recommend you that you can use these words, you can use these emojis or you can use this marks, punctuation marks and all that things but it cannot understand that what is in your mind and it cannot think like a human. So I think this must be clear to you that can AI replace humans or not? So I want this answer from you all in my comment box that can AI replace humans or not. So I have told you about the examples that what can AI do and I have too told you that what AI can not do. So just reply me in the comment box for my question that can AI replace human beings or not. So this is all for this video. In the next video, we are going to discuss about the uses of deep learning in our daily life. So thank you and bye-bye.